one of the first companies that used automated systems in kind of this complete employee life cycle sort of way was Amazon, where uh, it came to light during litigation that they were automatically monitoring using these handheld scanners in warehouses, how quickly workers were working and how much downtime they have. And at a certain point, if they move too slowly and that happened often enough, they would be automatically fired by an algorithm. Um, so it really has become a complete life cycle thing. And I definitely do think that there's a feedback loop that gets created where I, you feel the desire to automate away as much HR and middle management as you can, because those are, if you think about what happens when a private equity firm or hedge fund purchases a company, what are the first things they do? They cut costs. And usually the things that they do to cut costs, the first targets are administrative costs and layers of reporting, which in the workplace, that means you know, HR and middle managers. Those are the first jobs that they look to get rid of in order to create supposed efficiencies. But in order to successfully do that, you need to be able to accomplish the same roles using fewer people. And that creates this, well, we need to have more automated management in order to downsize these companies and create efficiencies. But in order to automate it, we need to collect as much information about our workers uh, activities and productivity, et cetera, as we can, because without that information, you can't automate those tasks away. 